Welcome back to Mid Suffolk and I've brought you here to this crop of sugar beet so that we can have a look at how they are growing uh, as the season progresses and to assess the herbicide strategy so far. So as you can see they are, well this is a crop of caiman actually that was drilled on the 8th of April. They're growing really well at the moment and as you can see they are touching within the row. They're not quite touching across the row yet but I would think that within the next 10 days we will have row closure and it's important that by then we have completed our herbicide strategy. So, so far this has had a pre-em spray of chloridazone and then we've had a couple of post-emergence sprays. The first spray being based on um, Densmenivam, Fenmedifam, Epifumisate and Lenacil with a little bit of chloridazone and metametrum thrown in there and because of the products that we were using we were able to go in quite early and control the weeds, the difficult weeds, before they became any size so that's been quite helpful in the control here. So having said that it was very cold and dry at the time at that application and I was a little bit disappointed that it wasn't working as well as I had hoped it would. So I guess a little bit in panic I upped the ante at the second post emergence spray and I'm quite glad I did that on reflection. But I have to say the rain came, the soils warmed up a little bit and suddenly we gained control of the weeds and uh, that was really as the residuals were activated and started to work well again. Just as an aside really, i would just take you over to the far corner of the field there. You may or may not be able to see some volunteer rapes sticking up just on the headland there. I'm just showing you this really just to demonstrate that that was where the sprayer came into the field and uh, the spray wasn't quite reaching the end of the booms at that stage. And you can just see from missing that one timing the difference in the level of control. So you can see that we really have done a reasonable job here so far. So since the second post-emergence spray we have been we have been controlling grass weeds and thistles here. Uh, a little smattering of black grass across the field and that is now controlled. Hopefully the uh, the Aramo that we use will do a reasonable job in this case. The black grass was relatively small so I'm kind of hopeful. So that just leaves the post-emergence 3 application which is due as soon as we can get onto it really. Um, there is a little bit of weed starting to grow again now so what we've got here are some small fat hens that you can see are dotted around and they really do need controlling because they will get big and cause us a problem. But it's uh, all in the schedule, they'll be obliterated pretty soon and uh, then we'll have row closure and hopefully we'll maintain a clean, clean field. Just after that it will remain sort of maybe to put some uh, foliar nutrition on and uh, wait until we need to control disease. So one last look at what hopefully will be a good crop of feed.